Hi, my name is Jennifer Hancock and I'm a humanist. I run a company called Humanist Learning Systems, but I'm also this big Bollywood music movie fan. I watch a lot of Indian movies um, and I've actually gotten several of my friends to watch them as well. Um, so I now have this group of humanist women that watch Bollywood movies with me. My life is awesome. So one of the things I wanted to do uh, was to review Indian movies for the Western audience and talk about the humanist content in these movies because I really do feel that um, some of the most humanistic movies being made are coming out of India. Alright, so that's what this is about. This is actually going to be a reaction to and a review of the trailer of Shah Rukh Khan's new movie, um, which is called Race. He was just in a movie. <laughs> just in a movie, Dear Zindagi, which is really, really good. But he's got another one coming out in January, which is more of a thriller. So let's watch the trailer, shall we? And there's subtitles. Ami Jan kehti thi, koi dhanda chota nahi hota. Or dhanda se koi dhanda nahi hota. Red chilies. This could be a thriller. Look at all that alcohol. Dhanda band kar le. Oh, I love him. So excited he's in this movie. I love every movie he's in. How will you stop the air? Oh, you know he's a bad guy because he's wearing eyeliner. Uh, he's definitely a bad guy. Oh, but a sweet bad guy. <gasps> Love interest. What's with the idea? Battery cell. Mm. 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 Yay, we're gonna get dancing in the love interest. Yay. Zada uncha matur. Cut it. Agar cutne ka dar hota na, to pata nahi chada tha. Fir ki pakarta. Oh. <laughs> uh, definitely a bad guy. Look at that eyeliner, dark eyes. Oh. Badass. Race <laughs> So, that is so cool. I am so excited about this movie. The last movie Shah Rukh was in, he was, was Dear Zindagi with Aliyah Bhatt, and he wasn't the main character. He was a supporting character to Aliyah Bhatt, who totally rocked that movie. But clearly in this movie, he's the star. He is, he is the movie, right? Um, now, he's playing a negative character, which is unusual for him, because, you know, he's the hero. But you never know with these sorts of things. Um, you know, even when he plays a bad guy, he usually plays a bad guy with a heart of gold. So it's entirely possible that in this movie, um, Nawaziriki is the bad guy. And I don't think so, because why would he play that sort of role? I don't know. But here's what I like about this, this trailer. Very excited about it. Um, Shah Rukh Khan looks great. He always does, but he looks really, really great. Um, I like the dark eyeliner. It makes him look very sinister. Um, I like the fact that there is going to be a love interest, because let's face it, what do we like about Shah Rukh Khan? We like that he falls in love. He falls in love better than anybody else. 
Um, there's also going to be dancing, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gotten to the point where if the movie doesn't have dancing in it, I feel cheated. I like Dear Zindigi, but it didn't really have any dance numbers in it. Because it was drama, right? This has dance numbers. So we have romance and action and crime and probably plot twists because that's what his movies are like when he plays a negative character. Um, I'm excited by this. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, I know it's going head-to-head -head with uh, Hrithik's movie, which I also want to see. But out of the two, I kind of want to see this one more. Sorry, Hrithik, I love you, but this one looks more exciting. Um, and and better put together, I think. So what's odd about this is, what's with the eye drops, Shah <laughs> you, know, you had the eye drops, everybody was like, why do you have eye drops in Dear Zindagi? Uh, why do you have the eye drops here? I don't know, you know, maybe he's wearing contacts and he's, you know, they just give him these things so that he can keep his eyes moist while he's filming. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm very excited about this. So let's talk about, is this going to be a humanist movie? Because like, it's obviously uh, a crime drama, right? A, a thriller of some sort. We don't know the full plot, um, but there's obviously alcohol. He's run, he's running illegal businesses, right? Um, that's what we can gather from this. The question is why, right? Because um, the other movie that he did with Rohit Shetty last year, you know, where he was playing a negative character, it turned out he had a very good reason for the business he was in. Um, he was a good guy dealing with bad circumstances. So I suspect we'll see something like that here. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be giving us so much of a background on him and allowing him to have a love interest um, and, and things like that. Because when he was in Dawn, right, <laughs> he still had that, but he was manipulative. Um, it doesn't look like his love interest in here is manipulative. It looks genuine, um, which means his character is going to be very deep and complex. Um, and I, I kind of like that because um, not every, you know... it. it the black and white movies where the bad guy is the bad guy and the good guy is the good guy and it's very, very clear which is which. Um, those are very satisfying movies, but it's also very satisfying to have a very deep character where you're not really sure, you know, why this person is bad. They've gone bad, but why? And what is, is there a redeeming quality to them? And I like that as a humanist because um, as a humanist, I feel that everybody has inherent dignity and worth. So... Even people who choose to do really bad things, and even people who are, like, you know, evil, they're still human, right? And very few people are, like, all evil. Very few, there, there are no real Mungumbos in the world, right? Everybody else is a, a mixed plate of good and bad. And I like that that's going to be part of this movie so that we can kind of have that journey and um, I, I like the dynamic they're setting up between Shah Rukh and Awazadiki about and I don't know if I pronounced his name right forgive me I'm a white woman watching these movies and I don't speak Hindi <laughs> I have to read the subtitle so I'm guessing at pronunciation um, but I like that dynamic there because it looks like it's going to be you know two guys doing their best to do the right thing thing. And that's what I'm hoping this movie is going to be about, even though one of them is clearly um, not exactly the most honest of businessman running a business that clearly sells a lot of alcohol. So um, looking forward to this one. That was a cool trailer.